This video is part of our series on composting. To learn about other composting methods, follow the link in the video description. Basket composting is the practice of preparing compost in biodegradable baskets that are half buried directly into planting beds. Besides providing compost in the medium term, the baskets facilitate both moisture control and fertilization via nutrient reaching into the surrounding planting bed. As vegetable roots penetrate into the lower, already composted layer of the biomass in the basket, this method can provide nutrients faster than the usual 3-4 to four months period associated with traditional composting. Basket composting was originally developed by the Mindano Baptist Rural Life Center in the Philippines. We will now walk you through the composting system. You will need the following materials. 3 to 4 bamboo strips, 2 to 3 cm wide, 150 cm long. 7 bamboo sticks around 30 cm long, approximately 5 kg of free decomposed biomass, 5 kg of green biomass, 5 kg of manure, any type of manure works. The first step is to clear your bed and prepare it for planting, as you usually would. Remove any weeds and remaining roots and dig up the bed. Unlike other composting methods, basket compost are placed directly into the planting bed. We therefore want to avoid placing baskets into an already planted bed, as this can disturb plant growth. The second step is to dig holes for the baskets in your planting bed. Dig one hole in the center of the bed along every 1 meter of your planting bed. The hole should be around 15 cm deep and 30 cm wide. Once the holes are dug, the next step is to build the composting baskets. Drive 7 sticks into the ground approximately 15 cm deep around each hole. Half the sticks should stick out above the ground. An uneven number of sticks provide a good brace for weaving in our bamboo strips. Next, weave the long strips of bamboo through the sticks to form the basket. Make sure to weave the strings tightly to keep the compost from spilling out. In the next step, fill your baskets with layer of manure approximately 10 cm thick. This will be your main source of nitrogen and much needed for plant growth. Next, add pre-decomposed materials which will accelerate the process of providing nutrients to the surrounding plants. If no pre-decomposed material is available, you can use green biomass only. Both pre-decomposed and green materials should be chopped into small pieces to facilitate faster composting and to ensure even texture of the compost. Lastly, fill the basket just above the rim with green biomass. Top it up with a 5 cm thick layer of soil. Once our baskets are loaded with compostable material, the next step is to plant the surrounding bed. Choose crops to grow based on your own preference. Some crops that grow well in a basket composting system include tomatoes, paper, beans, eggplant and okra. If the materials placed in the bottom of the basket are almost decomposed, you can immediately plant your seeds or seedlings 5 to 10 cm outside the baskets. Do not plant inside the basket. If the materials placed in the baskets were mainly green leaves, wait 2 to 3 weeks before planting your seeds or seedlings. This will give the materials enough time to start decomposing and make nutrients available to your plants. Make sure to water your seedlings after planting. We maintain our compost basket throughout the growing season by adding approximately 2 kg of green biomass every 2 weeks as the decomposing material in the basket shrinks. Water only the center of the basket instead of watering the plants. The lower part of the basket is cool, moist and has abundant nutrients for your crops. Later, the roots will grow into the basket. Unlike in conventional composting, you do not need to turn the composting materials, just add new material on top. Harvest your crops when they are ripe. Remove any uncomposted materials from the top of the basket and retain them to start the next round of basket composting. Remove the finished compost from the lower part of the basket and work it into the surrounding soil. 
This will act as a starter for the next plants until the roots are able to penetrate the baskets where abundant plant feed is available. Once both the crops and compost are harvested, your basket composting system can be reused for the next cropping cycle.